what's up and welcome back to my channel now today I'm going to be giving a review for the DC Universe animated film Teen Titans Go to the Movies now this is based on a television series of the same name now the events of this film is actually taking place during I think like the fifth season of the series because I know once it ends I could just a spoiler alert it actually says that it would be continued like into the series itself into that show I think if I'm not mistaken but anyway, this is actually based on a TV series of the same name. Now the plot of the film itself is about the Teen Titans, who are actually robbing himself and the, uh, his fellow members of the, uh, the group too as well. They actually are wanting like, a movie to be based on them because like, all like, the major like, superheroes like Superman, Batman, you know, they all have films based on their characters, you know, so the actual team of the Titans actually more like a movie based on them. But apparently like the uh, the creators like in Hollywood and so on, they don't want to make a movie based on the Teen Titans, you know. So that's basically what the film itself is about. They want to actually make a movie where the Titans themselves want to have a film about their, their characters, you know, like their own like Teen Titans like film basically. Now eventually they do find a way to actually be able to uh, get creators in Hollywood, you know, to actually make a movie based on them when like, this villain shows up known as uh, Slade, you know, like Deathstroke. And they're just, this is actually like their introduction to like Slade was because they didn't even know who like Deathstroke was and I thought that was kind of funny, you know, like, the jokes they had around the character, you know. So I thought that was kind of interesting that once he actually shows up, you know, there's like a window of opportunity for them to actually take him out because he actually plans on like mind controlling like the, uh, the Justice League and I think taking over the world if I'm not mistaken so that's their opportunity to actually be able to take him out and maybe the creators in Hollywood you know will actually uh, get together and make a movie based on their characters basically. Now this film is packed full of like like cameos and stuff you know from like various like, <laughs> like celebrities you know and like the characters themselves you have like Robin, Cyborg, Starfire, Raven, Beast Boy, you know, Slade, you know, and so on. All like the characters themselves are interesting, like the chemistry between them are like it's like funny, you know, and entertaining. Now, uh, I think like the pacing of the film, it moved at a fast pace, you know, I thought like the pace of it was pretty good, you know. Now this is directed by uh, Peter Rita McCall, I think that's how you pronounce their last name, and uh, Aaron Horvath, I think that's how you pronounce it. And I thought they did a good job on like, the direction of the film. And some of the jokes themselves could be like very like, you know, out there. You can tell it's not really like for kids, you know. But it's still like a pretty uh, you know, it's okay like for kids like to watch, you know, and so on. But uh yeah, I thought like uh like the action scenes, whatever they had like action that was pretty entertaining, you know. But I think it still was like too more on like the comedic side for my taste. And I noticed it was based on the show of the same name. And I don't really watch that particular like Teen Titans like series, you know. But I am very familiar with it, you know, I know about it, you know, so I just don't really watch it, you know. Because it's still kind of too, like, on a comedic side for me, you know, it's, like, too, like, humorous, you know. I prefer, like, a more, like, serious tone to the, ser to the series, you know, even, like, to this movie, you know. One thing, too, about this movie, too, as well, I thought it had a superb, not a superb, but the soundtrack was awesome. Like, the music throughout the film, like, the different, like, songs and beats you hear throughout the film, I thought were, like, tight, you know. They had, like, some awesome, like sounds in the film like far as the musical i thought they did a good job like a lot of like hip-hop r&b type music you know like techno and stuff you know i thought it was kind of cool you know now the voice cast for this film you have a uh, scott mcville as a uh, robin you have a uh, carrie payton as cyborg hinden walsh as starfire charles strong as raven greg sipes as beast boy Will Arnett as Slade, and I thought Slade really did like stand out, you know, I liked the way he, he was, you know, <laughs> and the, the, the character so was like funny, you know, like hilarious, you know. You have like, uh, like, like Batman makes an appearance, like Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, like Superman, Flash, Autumn, Alpha, you know, I'm not going to touch on all of them, you know, because they're just like two minute superheroes. The film is like crammed like, with like superheroes, which is cool, you know. But in uh, this right here, the Teen Titans go to the movies, I'm giving this a... Uh, a B minus. Like I say, it's a pretty entertaining film, especially if you're like a fan of like DC, like comics, like superheroes, like characters, you know, I would definitely recommend it for that crowd. Or I guess like the Teen Titans in general, I would definitely recommend it for like that crew, you know. So in the end, I'm giving the Teen Titans go to the movies. I'm giving this a B minus. Please leave a comment and subscribe too as well.